History Channel show Cooper's Treasure is causing a big stir at the moment in terms of UFO research and the search for lost civilizations. Incredibly, what is claimed to have been found is being described as one of the greatest discoveries of all time. Wait till you hear this. Is this a sincere discovery? Yes, it is something of extreme interest. Yes, it is being blown out of all proportions. Of course it is. The new discovery in the Bermuda Triangle has sent the internet into meltdown. Why? Because Daryl Miklas is convinced he has discovered something that could be a game changer in regards to our ancient history. He is quoted as saying, we went down there in a submarine looking for two shipwrecks that went down in the late 1700s in that area. We saw this huge unidentified object with protruding arms jutting out and we just said, oh my God, what are we looking at? This is the weirdest thing. We were all awestruck by it. It was creepy. An artistic representation of the object created using underwater footage and witness testimony shows an eerie clawed object which looks like a landed spaceship. Other features in this area look like foundations to a lost city, prompting suggestions of Atlantis. Daryl goes on to say, We didn't know what we were seeing because if it was a shipwreck from the 1700s, all the organic material would have disintegrated by now. But we were seeing objects sticking out horizontally like cannons on a battleship. It would be impossible for coral to grow that way. Then we investigated the wider area and we saw what looked like foundations, structures, and a road or pathway. It looked like an underwater abandoned ghost town or ancient city. I want to approach this scientifically, but we can't rule out the possibility that this is an alien spacecraft that has crashed in the lost city of Atlantis, or that the lost city of Atlantis was established by people from other worlds. You have to remember that Gordon discovered the Olmec civilization in 1969 before the people had no idea there were a civilization that went further back than the Inca, Maya, and Aztec peoples, but we found a civilization that dated way further back. So I want to investigate this area and see if there is any way I can prove his theories. I want to approach this as a scientist and go down there and do some more investigative work before I reach any conclusions. The object is thought to be at least 15,000 years old, dating it back to the last cataclysmic events on the Earth, and they want to bring this up to the surface for further investigations. Only then will they know for sure what has been discovered. So there you have it guys, some pretty big statements coming from the Discovery Channel. It is not unfeasible that there was a lost civilization in this area or even a flying machine. Off the coast of Cuba, deep under the water, there are pyramid-shaped objects that look like a ruined city complex. And in the Mayan culture, there are tales of Lord Pakal flying around in his flying machine. So it's not that technologically advanced civilizations have never flourished on this planet outside of our own modern culture. It is just that we find it hard to accept the fact that we are not as advanced as we think, and it is inevitable that some form of technology existed thousands or millions of years ago on this planet that is beyond anything we could ever imagine today. On a side note guys, if there are any knife collectors or fishermen out there looking for some top quality custom made products, then you should go ahead and check out D Edge on Facebook. He makes all of his tools from scratch and has many years of experience in his craft. He is sure to accommodate all of your cutting needs and even offers engraved products for special occasions. So check that out if you are interested. Anyway, guys, this is just an update to Cooper's treasure series on Discovery Channel, and we will, of course, bring you the updates as they emerge. Comments below, guys, and as always, thank you for watching. just recently made an incredible discovery that may be related to the lost city of Atlantis. I may have stumbled across one of the most incredible discoveries of all time. I saw something that was remarkable. We are ready to dive. I'm a treasure hunter and I'm on the show called Cooper's Treasure. Cooper's Treasure is about 
a very dear friend of mine named astronaut Gordon Cooper, whom I met through my father. I inherited a series of charts and files based on information that he got during his space flights. The information has led to several discoveries of shipwrecks. I want, I want to check out the bottom of this reef. Most recently, we were investigating the site uh, based on the information that Gordon gave me from one of his files. When we were diving down in a submarine, we came across this area, this very beautiful reef area, but we noticed something very different about it. There were five arms that were coming out of the wall portion of this very deep reef. They were going horizontal. Coral doesn't grow horizontal, so that was the first thing that struck me. My assumption after looking and seeing these very large projectiles coming out of the wall is that we're, we've discovered something that's not a shipwreck, didn't appear to be nature made. What it was, I can't explain. There are theories behind this may be parts of an ancient civilization. What led us to believe that even more is that we found roads, what appear to be roads on top of this mound-like formation. There was a mound, several arms sticking out of a wall on three different locations. We even found what we believe to be uh, remnants of structure. It could even be something related to a very ancient civilization that must have existed more than 12,500 years ago. It is possible that we've come across a very, very ancient civilization, whether it has something to do with Atlantis.